move on to the children. Now, let's have a look. Shall I go for... Let's go for Emma. We will see Emma. Oh, no, I keep doing that. Fertility. Now, again, this is very odd. Hello, Emma. Ah, uh, she would like some flowers. Let's take... We'll take the garden weasel. I didn't... I've never heard of a garden weasel before. We have some flowers and a bee. Now, this is pretty straightforward. So, at the moment, Emma wants flower number one. So, we have to use the flower and the bees. So, if you have a look at number one, it is orange. And if we use the bee, we can actually pollinate. So, it's red, no, blue even. Red or yellow. So, let's start with yellow. And it's changed it to a yellow flower. And let's pollinate it with red. Now, I need to pollinate it again because it's a bit of a, a darker kind of orangey colour. So we will pollinate it again. So we have the correct flowers, but we also need the correct leafage. <laughs> Foliage, maybe. There we go. That is the first flower. And that has kind of opened up something for us. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make number two as well. So let's pollinate that with the stem. And number two is kind of a ready, but a purpley kind of red. So we'll, we'll pollinate it that way, but then we'll make it a little bit redder. And there we go. We have flower number two. Uh, flower number three is blue. It's purple, but very... Can I pollinate it twice in a row like that? No. So I have to go to red and then pollinate it. And then go back to blue and make it a bit purplier. Right. And then the foliage that we need is this one. And it's also got like this little twirly thing at the top. So let's get the twirly bit. Twirly bit. <laughs> I know what I mean. So we have our third flower. So for our fourth and final flower, we need big leaves big droopy droopy leaves and that flower is kind of greeny blue so we're going to need yellow but even then that's just a touch too yellowy so we need some more blue let's get some blue in there and there we go we have the fourth and final flower thank you mr b for all your hard work so let's go back over to emma who will say flower number one please so flower number one goes in and then again flower number two goes in and she asks for what do you think flower number three goes in and then again flower number four there we go and a miraculous thing happens to said flower it merges they merge into this beautiful kind of white fluffy cloud of dust that then decides that it's going to um, impregnate Emma because <laughs> why not you know because that's what flowers do <laughs> it's she's now pregnant Let's have a look at the tree. Oh, the tree, I can't see it anyway, but she is now, she is now pregnant with some weird flower baby. <laughs> so she has her own little tale to tell there. Let's move on to Samuel and the clock. The clock that we all know. Let's pick these up as we go and take the matches because we always have matches. It'll be, you know, you have to have matches and a cog. Let's take all the cogs and take that cog oh oh no that's a cog that actually stays in there right is there anything can't remember where the last cog is so we will move on to the table now that clock will you'll understand what i need to do in a minute so we'll move on to the table and we have i'm jumping from thing to thing but we have coming soon to rusty lake the amazing ida fortune teller and we have all the cogs so let's move on to the table how do i move on oh i need to give you this don't i 
because he wants to soar. That's why I need to give you. That's why I can't move forward. Now I can move forward, right. Oh, it's another cog. So what I need to do, oh, right, let's start again. So what I need to do is saw the wood into different shapes and then use the glue to glue them together. So let's saw the wood, move that bit down there and they've got to match the plans. So then glue it together. There we go. We have bit number one. And then they all become a little bit strange. So I can move the saw this away and I can move the saw that away. So I need to be there. So I click on the wood, move the piece of wood there and glue it together. That is the next bit done. So again, I need to move that so it matches the angle, which I believe is that. Click on it. And then move you down, move that across. There we go, brilliant. So next bit done. Let's see how I need the angle to be a bit steeper. So there, click on the wood, move that cross and move you there. And that's another bit done. Now this did take me ages to figure out on the tap. Oh, nuts. Right, so if you get it wrong then you can just click on the next piece of wood and it moves along. Um, I got this wrong on my tablet, or it took me ages to figure out on my tablet what I needed to do. So that's why I can go through it quite quickly now, because I know what I'm doing. Next bit done. And I could, I could just saw wood just because I want to, but I can only do it once on each bit. So we are ready. All done, James. No, this is, this is Samuel. Right, so we need to move on to the clock. It's weird how the family really do all look alike. So let's move on, let's put the cogs in. So if I remember correctly, that goes, no it doesn't. No it doesn't, I think it might go there. And the big one possibly goes there. That looks correct and then you go there. And I think this one, no, something's not quite right. Um, oh, it is. Oh, it is right. Fantastic. That's fine. I, I knew that all along completely and utterly. Right. Let's put the bits in. So you go there. You go there. Wouldn't it have been easier just to kind of put bits in, like in normal shapes? <laughs> I know what I mean. Oh, my ability to speak English is just failing. Okay. So the clock is done. We need to go back and have a look at a certain poster that tells us that Ida is coming at half three. So we need her to turn up. So let's change the time to 3.30. And lo and behold, there is Ida. And what has she got for us? She's got a pipe. And she's, oh God, she's gone. Now why have we got a pipe? You need a pipe. There we go. Let's put the pipe in your mouth. Om. Oh, he's such a happy bunny with that. And then we shall light it. And you're even happier. Hey, Samuel is a happy bunny. Okay, so we have reached the point. I have no idea what's going to happen or how things are going to progress. So from here on out, I am playing completely and utterly blind. So we will move on to Albert. Oh, no, sorry, family tree needs to go. Needs to expand first. Let's move on to Samuel. No, on to Albert even, apologies. So poor Albert has been scarred by the look of it from the incident with, oh my God, why has he got a knife? He's been really scarred, hasn't he? Butterfly, from that bee incident. That's really, he's freaky. He is proper freaky. Don't like this. And he's got a blue mask. So yeah, I'm playing completely blind now. I, I don't think I like. Right, those are locked. Let's explore first before we, and that is locked. What number does it go up to? So it goes up to nine. Oh God, this is so, this can be so weird. Can we open this? We can. There is nothing that I can do out here. And the music's gone quiet, right? There's nothing I can do out there at the moment. Watering can. What are these for? 
I don't know. Don't know. And these all turn. Okay, okay, okay. So let's start by giving Albert, let's give Albert the, the mask. What's he doing? Okay. Oh, it's raining. What's going to happen? Oh, let's put the watering can out there. Okay, so it's now got water. Does it stop raining when you take off the... So it does. Okay, he has strange magic powers. Right, let's put the water up here. Ah, oh, there's a key. Thank you. Brilliant. Right, where does this key go? Let's try the top. Yes. Oh, it's just the top. And he's got a white mask. Oh God, I dread to think what the white mask does. I really, oh. oh, it's so freaky. Take it off. Oh, it is freaky, I, I don't like this. Oh my God, it's snowy. Oh, there's snow all everywhere. Oh, <laughs> wait, wait, okay. This is so cool. I, he somehow controls the weather, maybe? He controls the weather with his, with his masks? Can that go? Oops. Oh. Oh, what? Is there something stuck in there? Oh, there's another key. Brilliant. Okay, Albert, with your spooky magic masks, let's get the telescope. Binoculars. Okay, let's get the binoculars. And let's have a look out the window, shall we? Is there anything to see? Oh, wow, we can... Um, Oh, nice. All right, I need to have a look around. Let's. So there is. Is that who is that? Standing on top of the um, the chapel. Is it the chapel it is. So that needs to be on its side, and that with a little thing at the top needs to be standing up straight. Who are you? Oh my god, this is so horrid. And don't don't make me jump, please. So if I change it, will it stay? So you need to be on your side and you need to be up like that. Hopefully it'll stay. Let's change Albert's mask. Oops. Oh, this is so weird. It's now raining. Let's have a look out again. Where are we going this time? Not that way. Ah, oh, he's on the rock now. So it's a U and let's say backwards D. And once again, you are gone. Okay, brilliant. So a U and a backwards D. There we go. Ye mm. Moon mask. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. You and your creepy masks. Why does it have to have... Why does it have to have creepy teeth, though? Oh... I don't like darkness. I don't like darkness at all. Why have you got these powers? Oh, I don't like this. This is gonna make me jump. Don't make me jump, don't make me jump. Don't make me jump. There is a window. Oh, I don't know if you guys remember in one of the other playthroughs, there was a window in the moon and the woman got killed in the window. What is this? You're looking out to us. Hi. Two, one, two, three. One, what? Five, oh, five, two, three, one. Oh, it's so weird. Five, two, three, one. Okay. Oh my God, this is so creepy. Please take the mask off. I don't know why you have a knife. Five, two, three, one. Five. You're going to kill it, aren't you? Five, two, three, one one is this the butterfly from your childhood what do you get uh, your creepy face take it off please take it off but oh he's so emotionless though let's just let's just give him the butterfly oh he's gonna kill it why oh my why is it bleeding so much why is it bleeding so much butterflies don't bleed that much what is this why is it bleeding that much though? Oh my god, Albert, you are a bit of a freak. Oh my god, why is the butterfly bleeding that much? 
Okay, so we don't have any other sacrifices other than the tongue, oh, other than the heart and the tongue of James Van Boo.